To verify the solution, we want to refine the mesh to ensure the results are independent of the discretization. Back in the workbench window, right click on the fluid flow fluent part of the module and select duplicate. Name this new module mesh refinement. Double click solution to open the new module in Fluent. Once it opens, start by finding the solution on the same mesh as before. Double click initialization in the tree. Change compute from to far field and click initialize. In the pop-up window, Click OK so that we can make sure the initialization is correct. Next, double click Run Calculation in the tree. Ensure that the number of iterations is set to 100 as before. And click Calculate. Once this is complete, expand Graphics in the tree. Expand Contours, right click on Mock Contours, and select Display. Click the Fit to Window button to make sure you can see the whole visualization. We can see that in our previous visualizations, the oblique shock appears smudged, such that the Mach number transition is rather unclear. This is a result of the coarse discretization in that region. This can be visualized by double clicking on mock contours in the tree and in the new window selecting draw mesh. In the pop up, ensure all surfaces but plot line is selected and click display. Closing this window and clicking save slash display, we can view the mesh over the contours. Zooming into the shock, we can see that the transition happens across nearly four cells. We want to improve the discretization by making the mesh more fine only in this region to keep the overall cell count low in regions ahead of and behind the shock to reduce the computational intensity. Close the pop-up window and click the Fit to Window button to return to the standard view. To start, under the Domain tab, select Manual under the Adapt section. In the new pop-up, select Cell Registers, New, and click Field Variable. Name this Pressure Grad. Under Type, Change it to Cells Inside Range. Under Derivative option, select Gradient. We want to select the cells that have a large pressure change across the region to help focus on the shock. To do this, ensure Pressure and Static Pressure are selected. We want to choose values to include only the pressure gradient range around the shock. This can be achieved by choosing the minimum to be 10,000 and the maximum to be 110,000. Click Save slash Display to view this range. To ensure that this region falls over the shock, right click Mock Contours in the tree and select Add to Active Window. We can see that the selected cells encompass the shock well. In practice, this requires trial and error to determine the ideal range of values. Back in the pop-up window, click Close. In the Mesh Adaption window, click the arrow next to Refinement Criterion and select Pressure Grad. Finally, click Adapt and close this information pop-up. 
in the console. We can see that this has updated the original 744 cell mesh to have 954 cells. To visualize this change, first close the pop-up window, double click a general in the tree, and select display. Ensure every surface but plot line is selected, and click display. We can see that it has subdivided the selected cells to produce a finer discretization. You can close the pop-up window. We can use this mesh to perform a new calculation. Using the previous solution as initial guess values, we can skip straight to the calculation step. Double click on Run Calculation, ensure Number of Iterations is set to 100, and click Calculate. If you see a pop-up window, select Use Settings and Mesh Changes for Current and Future Calculations, and click OK. After the process is complete, looking at the residual plot, we can see a spike in the residual values when the new calculation began. After more iterations, however, the residuals drop below the 10 to the negative 6 criteria. It is possible to get convergence issues in which the residuals continuously oscillate without ever reaching the convergence criteria. This will typically extend further if more iterations are run. To fix this, Double click methods in the tree and under flow, change it to third order muscle. This uses a third order integration scheme in the solution and can help with convergence problems. For more information, you can consult the Fluent Theory Manual. With this change, you can then attempt to rerun the calculations again and use more iterations to ensure the solution converges. With a completed solution in the tree, we can right click on mock contours and select display. With the new mesh, we can see that the oblique shock is captured much more clearly. If we right click behind the shock, we can see the Mach number in that region in the console. This shows the Mach number is still around 2.24. This shows that the improved mesh does not have a significant effect on the results behind the shock, but makes it less smeared. With this complete, make sure to save your project.